Hi! <laughs> My name is Kat, and I thought that today I could film the musical theater tag. And if you look up musical theater tag on the internet, you won't see this one besides me. Because I kind of took questions from different things and then I was like you know what I'll add some of my own because um, I am just curious about other people's experience that's the reason I'm doing this is because I want to hear about other people so let's get to the questions I will have the questions in the description so that you can copy and paste them and do your own musical theater tag on your blog or a video or an audio post whatever so the first question is list some or all of the shows you've seen I thought this would be a fun question you can see behind me on my shelf I have all the programs of like professional shows I've seen but I'm gonna start off listing some like local and like college and high school shows I've seen I saw the Wiz, and then my high school actually did the Wiz, so I've seen two productions of the Wiz in real life um, and then I've seen Hairspray, Godspell, Little Shop, a few others, but I'm not gonna sit here and be like, ooh, because all the time. And then I actually set up a mirror so I could see all my programs behind me so I don't forget any. Um, I've seen Dirty Dancing. These are all national tours, the ones that I have on my shelf. So Wicked, Rogers and Hammerstein, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Newsies, Phantom, Motown, Mamma Mia, Sound of Music, Pippin, Once, and Kinky Boots. So I've seen all of those and I don't think I'm missing any. I think that's all. Okay, and the next question, why do you like theater? I really, um, I've actually tried to film this a few times. So what I said last, last time is the music. Like I love show tunes. Um, like, I love the way, um, like, theater actors sing. Like, I love the vibrato and the belting. And, you know, I just love the music. Um, but also, um, I love the community. Like, I love that you're going to see something with people and it'll be the only time that y you can see what you specifically saw because, you know, um, it's live, so things will happen that won't happen every time, and you're sharing that experience with all these people, and I just, I really like the sense of community and um, the music, and I love the idea of it being live in front of you. Um, you know, I just, I just love it. Why do you like it? I don't know. Um, and the next question has ever been in a musical, and I put this in specifically just so I could say no. I haven't been in a musical, if, if the question is asking, have you ever been like on stage? Have you ever acted in a musical? Um, and sorry that I keep messing with my hair. I'm not used to seeing it like this. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't been on stage acting, singing in a musical, but I have, um, when I, I took drama for three years in high school and I, um, was never in any of the musicals that we did. My freshman year we did Hairspray and I wasn't in drama yet and then my 10th grade year um, there wasn't like a school-wide musical it was just the drama for kids and I actually went around painting people's teeth green um, and that was you know my first taste of like backstage stuff and then my junior year we did the whiz and I assistant stage managed and did makeup and then my senior year I just did makeup so I was never in one of the musicals but I was in a few plays um, I only had one speaking role no two if you count the one act that was like our senior project but um, I had one two speaking roles my whole drama career which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, no. But I'm, I've been thinking about auditioning for my local theater stuff, but I don't know, I kind of have like stage fright, singing, singing stage fright, but I don't know. Okay, next question. What was the first show you saw on Broadway? I also put this one in here so I could say none. Um, I've only seen US tours and then local and like school productions. Um, so none. 
I've never been to New York. I've never um, been on the street Broadway. I've never been in a Broadway theater. But, you know, hopefully that will change in the next couple months. I've been kind of planning a trip to New York, so I really want to see if I go, when I go. I want to see Fun Home and my family. It's like a family trip. My family wants to see Aladdin, so hopefully I'll get to see both of those. I really want to see Fun Home. But there's going to be a tour, so I'm probably going to see the tour anyway, but I obviously want to see it at the at the Broadway. <laughs> what theater is it at? I actually want to, I want to know. Um, I want to say it's at the Circle in the Square. I don't want to be wrong. Okay, I was right. Circle in the Square. I hope you caught that I knew it before I googled it, but uh, I didn't want to be wrong. I don't like being wrong, but it's at the Circle in the Square. Um, so yeah, next question. Favorite music, see, I'm getting off track. I just want to talk. Okay, favorite musical song to sing in the shower. Suddenly from Xanadu. If you haven't listened to the Broadway cast recording of Xanadu, Carrie Butler. Okay, next question. Favorite characters in a musical? I thought this was a cute question because I usually, um, I don't know, I, I've seen, you know, quite a few things and I'm trying to think of what character I was like, yeah. I don't even know. I put this question and didn't even think about it. Like, I added this question today. Um, oh, Glinda. I really love Glinda. Like, if you haven't seen Wicked, spoilers, it kind of starts out, like, when I was... Because the first time I saw Wicked, I didn't really know that much about the storyline. I, like, knew the songs. I knew, like, Define Gravity, Popular, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't really know what was going to happen, so... Um, when I was watching it, I was like, oh, this is going to be like, and I'm not like other girls thing. And Glinda's going to be like the bad guy and Alphaba is going to be like the good one, you know? And I was like, I don't really want her to be like this ditzy, like blonde archetype character where, um, you're not supposed to like her. But then, you know, as, as... The story progresses, Glinda becomes, like, my wife. And, um, I have a ways to go to being able to hit some of the notes Glinda has to hit, but if, for some incredibly strange reason, I was ever in a production of Wicked, I would want to be Glinda so I could make her gay for Alphaba, but that's not really the question, is it? And then, I don't know, Antony from Sweeney Todd. He's my favorite character in Sweeney Todd. Uh, I don't know, I really can't think of what characters I really like. I just saw um, Once the other day, and I really liked the girl um, because I, I've seen the movie, and I don't really like comparing the movie to the, to the musical the staged musical, but I loved her, so I'll say that. Who are a few of your favorite actors? The first people I thought of when that question, when I saw that question, was Patty Lapone. If you don't know Patty Lapone, Google her? I don't know. Find out. <laughs> and then Norm Lewis I also thought of, and then I thought more about it, and I thought of Julia Murney. Shout out to Julia Murney. I love Julia Murney. Okay, next next question. Favorite performance you've seen? I added this one today too because I was like, I'm talking about like specific people, but then I haven't talked about specific people in the rest of the questions. So I'm gonna say I saw the Pippin tour a while ago, last summer maybe. Was it summer? I don't know. It was it was 2015. And I saw Kyle Dean Massey play Pippin, and it was the best, the best thing that's ever happened to me. He was so good. So shout out to Kyle Dean Massey. I'm obsessed with him now. Not in a creepy way, just in a, um, I want to know what you're doing so I can know that sounds creepy. I mean, like, professionally, so that I can keep up with, um, content. 
hopefully I don't sound like a creepy creep. Um, next question. What musical made you cry? I, I, just, I added this in there because I thought it was funny because I'm a crier. If you know me in real life, you know I'm a crier. I'm always crying. Um, but I'm going to say the first thing that came to my mind was Phantom um, because I'm a baby and uh, I saw Phantom. I saw the Phantom tour and I sat in the front middle of the theater and the chandelier came down and it was literally like there's not very good depth perception here right now but um, here's my arm it was like maybe two two of my arms in front of me I'm 5'4 so short arms I don't know <laughs> it wasn't that far ahead it wasn't that far away from me okay that's what I'm saying it was just really magical it was just the production value was on fleek um, but also, I've cried at every every single one of these, uh, those, every single one of those shows, I've cried at. Not, and if nothing sad happens, I'll, I, I'll cry during the curtain call. Because I, I'm a crier. Okay. Which musicals are you dying to see? Um, I'm gonna say Fun Home, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm dying to see Fun Home. There's lots of other shows I want to see. Oh, one more. I lied about leaving it at that. Fun Home and Sweeney Todd are shows I'm dying to see. And aside from that, I'm not dying to see any. There are a lot of shows I want to see, but I'm dying to see Fun Home and Sweeney Todd. Next question. Um, dream roles? I thought this was cute. This was a cute question. And the other times I've tried to film this, I said, Antony from Sweeney Todd in an all-female production of Sweeney Todd, and then um, Gaston in an all-female production of Beauty and the Beast. And it's funny because I'm five four. Already, it's funny how I mentioned that twice. Like that doesn't really matter, but I'm saying I'm short, and I think Gaston should be taller. So I'm gonna be wearing these like big platform boots when I when I do it. I've already thought of all this, okay? Um, and and when I play Antony, I'm gonna be in a little sailor outfit. It's gonna be like amazing. Um, and then I was um, on my Tumblr and I was thinking about Pippin because I think about Pippin all the time and I was like, Fastrata is a dream role of mine. Like if I never do something where I get to sing Spread a Little Sunshine in front of an audience, what's the point? Okay, next question. What is your all-time favorite musical? Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. What would you do if theater didn't exist? I love this question because when I was looking at other people's, they were like, I would die. But it depends the circumstance. Like if theater disappeared, like if I woke up tomorrow and pulled up my iTunes and was like, Julia Murney, where do I go from the hair concert? If it was gone, if it was like here today, gone tomorrow, I like went on YouTube and like Broadway.com was gone and like Playbill Video was gone and this shelf was empty like if it just disappeared I might die you know because it's taken over my life in a good way like it's become my life in a positive way if it just disappeared I might die but if it never existed I would just be more into makeup than I am now if you know me in real life you know that I want to do makeup for theater like I want to do stage make I want to do people's makeup like I want to be like a makeup designer for shows and stuff stuff like that like I want my career to combine theater and makeup so if theater never existed or if theater never existed to me I would probably just be a little bit more into like beauty makeup which I already am but I'm just saying 10 times more that way instead of theatrical makeup that way. So, okay, the next question is what is your favorite movie musical? And this actually, um, it just came to me. I was like, I don't even know. Um, because I, I watched a lot of movie musicals when I was, um, younger, but since I discovered, you know, cast albums and stuff, I haven't been, um, that into movie musicals anymore. And if people are, that's fine. If you're not, that's fine too. You know, it's whatever. But, um, Cry Baby, you know, with Johnny Depp 
and it's John Waters, you know, the John Waters crybaby with Ricky Lake. Um, I love that because it's not really, it's not trying to be anything it's not. It's, um, Johnny Depp isn't singing. <laughs> No, I just, I really like Crybaby. I just think it's just really fun and campy and dirty. It's just, it's exactly what it should be. Okay, this is the last question. So if you're like, don't worry, it's almost over. Okay, so the last question is a musical that you would love to see happen. I haven't even thought about this, so I might end up rambling. So... Uh, I think what I'm gonna say is a musical with a bunch of lesbians. Um, I saw, should I even say this? Yeah. Um, I saw something about a Sasha Bear, Bear, what's his name? Sasha, Sasha, is there a C in it? Yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen. And... I don't have anything against him as a human being, but I saw something about him doing a musical called, like, Lesbian the Musical, and when I saw the word lesbian, I was like, ooh, but then I was like, wait, and I saw it, and it's about, um, a, there was a, something that actually happened where a man tried to get, um, his daughter to be straight and would, like, pay a man to turn his daughter straight, and I think that could be a fun musical, but, um, it was in China? And Sasha Baron Cohen talked about starring in it, so it just makes me afraid and kind of uncomfortable. So that's not really the question. Um, but yeah, or um, if this is more, if it's like not saying like a new musical necessarily, I would love to see an all female production go to Broadway, like an all female revival or um, maybe an all-female original show, I don't know. I just really want to see more lesbians on stage. I have never seen a show with lesbian character, with a main lesbian character in real life, so I would love to see lesbians, queer women, not just lesbians, but you know, that's my final answer and so that's that's it i'm gonna stop talking now except for the outro <laughs> so for my outro moment i want to say thank you so much for watching and um i'm gonna post this on my tumblr so if you're watching this from my tumblr if you do this please tag me at morning glow if you're not watching this on tumblr if you do have a tumblr if you do this at me morning glow like there are two G's. It's all one word. M-O-R-N-T-I-N-G-G-L-O-W. Morning Glow. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's it. Um, I feel like I'm acting weird, but that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you had fun. Support local theater. Bye. Okay, so outro moment. Um, if you do this, tag me. Um, on Tumblr, I am Morning Glow. M O R N T I N G G L O W. Like the Pippin song, except with a T. Morning Glow. So hopefully you do it. I think it'd be really fun. Um, I think I might have said this already, but I want, part of the reason I did this is because I want to see what other people say. So, uh, I hope you liked it. If you do it, tag me, message me something. I just want to see what other people say. So, support local theater. Have a nice day. Goodbye.